Hey guys, Paul from Ashley Phoenix. Hi, Paul! Today for the week of September 6th, and we're going to get started right now. This episode brought to you by Paul and Tim Do a Thing. We do a thing. Sometimes. Yeah, four days a week. You should definitely check it out. Up on the other channel. So the links in the description down below. Hey guys, it's Tim from Capes and Scales, the comic book store, Team Ashen, and Paul and Tim Do a Thing. I want to talk about these trades because there's 9,000 of them. Ready? House of Slaughter, Volume 3. Still going strong in the Something is Killing the Children universe. Uh, Daredevil, Guardian Devil. This is the Kevin Smith stuff. It's issue one through eight and the half issue. Uh, you could not kill a man with it. Maybe at an angle you could get a slice going, but I don't think I'd recommend it. We've got Baltimore Omnibus, Volume 1. Also a very hefty Mignola. We've got Far Cry Esperanza's Tears. I don't think you can read that title and not do that voice. Uh, the Boogeyman. I forget what this is about, but I know I ordered it, so it looked good to me. Boogie Oogie Oogie. Boogie Oogie. We got Family Time. Family Time. Look at the family. It's a girl and a wolf. Losing it. Red Goblin, Volume 1. <laughs> Karma. Uh, this is not for children. This was previously released just as a hardcover. Uh, now it's in softcover. Spider-Man 2099, Deadly Genesis, Dark Genesis, uh, Genesis, you know. Lovecraft, Unknown. This was a, a really creepy looking book. A lot of a Blaze books this week. Venom by Al Ewing, Volume 4. Or, he's kind of doing the, the four, you know. Nightclub, this is Mark Millar and kids wearing luchador masks, so I'm all about it. Nightwing, this is a Fear State tie-in issues. Superman, Kal-El, returns. He's back. He left. He's back. We've got Gotham City Year One. This is Tom King doing criminal kind of stuff, which is always a good thing. I've got a bunch of superhero manga. we got Batman Justice Buster. We've got Joker, One Operation Joker. He's got like a baby cat woman. I don't know what's up with that. And Superman Meshi, where he eats ramen? Rice? I don't know what's up with that. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Okay, we're getting there. It's okay, Paul. Deceased, hardcover. War of the Undead Gods is the most recent one. I don't know how many of these are doing. That's that, the last one. That's the last one. Captain Marvel by Kelly Thompson. This is a lot of the more recent stuff. Uh, um, 2019? Yeah, 2019. Uh, Wakfu? I don't know what the hell this is. It's a manga of some sort from Ablaze again. We've got Gremlins. It's a Funko Pop Gremlin Golden Book. We've got L's. I read volume one of L's. It's really good. So that one I can vouch for. Tales to Astonish. No, I lied. Mighty Marvel Masterworks, The Incredible Hulk. Coming in, uh, coming in with those Tales to Astonish issues. We have Terror Man. Terror Man. Uh, another manga through a blaze. And then finally, most importantly, we have Marvel Beginnings, Hulk's Big Feelings. Look, it's a mirror. Is that going to mess with everything? Look, it's Matt. You see him? Can you see him? He's there. Hulk has big feelings. You must be sleepy too. Show your tired face. Maybe that works. I don't know. It's a Hulk book. First up, we have Per Evil, issue number two. Uh, this fills in a lot of blanks on the first issue um, with a much more weird, creepy story. And um, uh, yeah, a date that goes absolutely horribly wrong um, as uh, Deb tries to uh, go on her first date and we find out why uh, she has been closeted away and kept away from people. Um, things go extremely bad uh, with opens up a really interesting world on uh, where this can go so definitely want to see what where issue number three goes because uh, this is weird check it out all right first up for me and both of my books could have been my pick of the week but i'm gonna let the non-kyle starks book have the pick of the week this week um peacemaker tries hard we're on issue uh, five of this and i love everything about this book the humor is perfect. Uh, this time, Peacemaker and the Red Bee are trying to find the brain, and he has baby Deathstroke clones. And, well, you have to fight baby Deathstroke. It, it's very traumatic for them. They have to fight the clones. 
and uh, it just gets even crazier from there. Hard to believe, I know, but if you've been following this series, it is as wild and silly as it can possibly be, and uh, I love every second of it. I am here for it. I want more of it. If we get another series or two out of this, I'd be very thrilled. So definitely go check it out. What's going on guys? Matt from the comic book store and I'm back because I read some more comics to tell you what I thought about them. First up this week I read Hunt for the Skinwalker number one from Boom Studios. This was an interesting book. Um, I thought it was going to dive a little more into what Skinwalker Ranch is all about. Um, rather this was just more of a retelling kind of getting everybody up to speed. And it seems like from here it's going to kind of take its own direction as far as where the story is going to go. I think that's kind of where the, the fact-checking ends is after this first issue. It's cool. The art's really cool. It's, it's different. The art is different. But I like it. I'm going to keep reading it. Hunt for the Skinwalker number one. Check it out. Next up, almost my pick of the week. It is Batman issue 137. Uh, this is the Gotham Wars part two. Uh, this is a massive escalation of what has happened between uh, Batman and Catwoman as he goes on a rampage. He is not well and things are going even worse to the point where the entire Bat family turns on him and it does not go the way it should um, as he just finds more and more things to be unhinged about um, and you find out more and more that the effects of everything that's happened to him, all these uh, huge reality bending events that's happened recently in the DC universe have not uh, aged well on Batman and uh, he has come apart at the seams and worse um, losing more than he thinks he's going to lose and uh, we're going to be really interested to see how the rest of that goes um, in the the, uh, the upcoming parts of this story so definitely check this out Gotham War is actually shaping up to be something really interesting all right, time for my pick of the week. Paul, do you know what my pick of the week is? No. All right, it's Crusader from Mad Cave, issue number one. Uh, the art is very cool. There's a little bit of it on the back. This is actually the B cover. I just liked it, so I grabbed it. Uh, but Crusader is about a knight during Crusades, and he kind of gets sidetracked while, you know, attacking everybody in the city. He finds this cave where there's a bunch of cultists doing a bunch of cultist things. And he interrupts the ritual that they're doing. He murks everybody. And something goes terribly wrong. As it does when you murk a bunch of cultists in a cave. And he ends up in some different world, presumably. Because he lands in a spot where there's goblins. And he murks all the goblins. And now he's like, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get back home. But I do like murking things. That's the basic start of this story. That's what I'm going to give you. So, uh, if you just like cool D&D style knights fantasy that kind of thing sword and sandal a little bit of magic this is definitely for you uh, i like the setup for uh the antagonist of this story so definitely check this out if you want something cool mad cave usually delivers and my pick of the week this week silver surfer rebirth legacy third week in a row reading about a marvel character i didn't know about silver surfer is pretty sick in this issue he's teaming up with genesis val genus val and he's able to actually help him see his father, the original Captain Marvel, in action, which is really, really cool if you think about it. Until you find out the twist. And it's a big one. And I don't want to spoil it because it's worth reading. This was really, really cool. Silver Surfer, Rebirth Legacy. It's a nice little five-issue thing. Check it out. It's cool. And my pick of the week, it is Kill Your Darlings, issue number one. This is a beautifully drawn book. Uh, with a really interesting story. Starts out with something very, very horrific, and then you're introduced to your character Rose as she is that uh, typical 1990s latch kid uh, with a lot of imagination as she kind of uh, is dealing with her own world and dealing with all this plushies and uh, being world building and all that kind of stuff. And then something goes wrong within her world and that leads to real life consequences that um, I didn't see coming. And man, this is shaping up to be an amazing story. I can't wait to see more. The art is fantastic in this. The story is uh, really sweet and charming until it takes that uh, turn into the much more sinister and creepy. Um, and it makes me want to see uh, even more of this. So this is a definitely a good one to check out. 
Uh, so Kill Your Darlings issue number one. You should absolutely check this out. All right, thank you guys for being here and putting up with us once again, talking about these their funny books. Uh, if you head over to Capes and Scales, Matt's going to have a new podcast soon. It might even be up now, but it's not. But you know what? Next week, it probably will be. But he's on there if you want more Matt. If you want less Matt, don't go over there. Go somewhere else. Like, go to Paul's thing and listen to him talk about creepy stuff. You like creepy stuff. But if you don't like Matt, don't go over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're like this Matt guy, I, I've had enough. I understand. If you've had enough of Paul, he's not on my channel, though. The audio stuff, so. Just, it's rare. I like to keep separation, so if they're like, I hate that guy, you got options still. You know? I guess if you hate me, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I guess turn it off. Thanks. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going until you stop talking. I'm not done yet! Who the hell told you to speak? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, don't go over to my channel. Just go listen to Paul's cryptid thing. It's great. <laughs>